Hello everyone. So in here I have the latest HP ZBook Studio G5. This is kind of the new generation of ultra light, or I guess you could say not necessarily light, but thin workstations. So you can see the laptop is, it's quite thin, especially by workstation standards, but from a few years ago and even the beefier workstations today. So the full size ZBook 15 and the 17 are obviously uh, two to three times as thick as this. So as you can see here, we have two USBs, one Kensington log slot. On the other side, we have two USB-C Thunderbolt ports and an HDMI, obviously a combo headphone jack. It would be nice to see a headphone jack and a microphone jack on a workstation, but considering how thin this laptop is, I don't really see it as too much of an issue. Also having a standard SD card slot is kind of key. Now, I just want to start by saying that this version does have the dream color display. Maybe a little difficult to tell in the video, but the screen quality on this laptop is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, in fact, it's one of the best screens I've probably ever seen. It's, it's 4K and um, it's really kind of difficult to see on video the quality, but the blacks and the contrast between the white and black, it's just superb. There, there's no, there's no light bleed of any kind. It's Everything looks absolutely perfect. You, you literally can't even tell where the wallpaper meets the Windows menu bar. Now, outside of that, I'm gonna kinda, uh, this is going to be a bit of a brief overview. I've had this laptop for only one day. So I'm just kind of giving you my initial impressions. The touchpad, it's, it's quite good on the ZBook series or the HP Pro laptops. I, I find the touchpad to be good. But um, I really do still wish I had left click and right click button. That way I can kind of securely click without, you know, just an accidental tap or something like that. So if I'm working on a serious project, I don't want to make any errors. And this is why I like to have actual buttons. Other than that, the keyboard is the standard HP ZBook style, style keyboard. It's, it's very good. Um, obviously this can be debatable, but I've always had no problem with this keyboard. It's kind of, it's kind of a soft, but firm touch. Unlike kind of Lenovo or Dell, it's, it has its own style and uh, It'll take a little bit of time getting used to it, so if you're switching from one brand to another, it may take a couple days. But in the end, I think any of the main brands, HP, Dell, Lenovo, or essentially the keyboard is good enough, and especially once you get used to it, there should be no problems at all. Also, um, just to note, it is the new HP logo. It's modernized, it's pretty sleek, I like it. No complaints. So I did want to point out this computer does have two fans, which is nice. and. Um, so let's go into kind of what makes this a little different than let's say the ZBook 15 or 17. Obviously the 17 is much larger, but the ZBook 15, it's a much beefier workstation. It, it can still have a uh, faster GPU, and but overall in terms of processors, the processor avail processors available are essentially the same. So really the only difference between the thinner models like this and the beefier ones are the GPU. So I think that for most people who are not working on extreme projects, you know, maybe CAD projects that require extreme and extremely intensive GPU quadro usage. I think this will be good for pretty much everyone. And in fact, this is a P1000 GPU with four gigs of RAM. It can play most older games from a few years back on high settings. It's, it's very powerful. And I really don't think that the majority of users would have, you know, you really wouldn't need more. The only reason you want more would be to game and the quadro GPUs do game quite well. So if you are getting a 15 or a 17 ZBook series, is if you get the P2000, P3000, or even P5000 Quadro GPU, they will game significantly better. Um, also, so to point out, uh, like I said, the screen is absolutely fantastic. Audio quality, let's take a look. So far, as I've tested, audio seemed pretty good. Let's just click on some random video here. Or is it max volume or? So yeah, as you can tell, sound is pretty decent. Ooh, Brad, check it out. With Nationwide, you can save up to 20% by bundling your home and auto. Now, clearly compared to previous workstations of a few years ago, this is, it's way better. There's no comparison. Uh, so I, I really have no complaints. This isn't really a true multimedia laptop, but I think the sound is good enough that 
if you're sitting in any somewhat large room, you should be able to watch a video without any problem. Obviously, have any video conferencing or anything like that. Um, so, also to note, one thing that really makes this powerful uh, laptop this powerful is that it has the six-core CPU, the i7-8750H. This really, I mean, considering how thin this laptop is, it's it's, it's quite amazing. I mean, just just take a look again. This. This computer has a quad, a six core i7 CPU with a quadro graphics card. I mean, and, and also with the Intel graphics, it gets roughly 10 hours of battery life based on uh, the notebook, uh, notebook reviews website. And if it achieves anywhere even close to that, even eight hours, nine hours, that is absolutely outstanding for a computer like this. And the fact that you can plug it in to a power brick and get six cores of turbo boost power out of this, I mean, it's a whole kind of new generation of computer, and I, and I must say this thing is just absolutely excellent. And not only that, it's more sleek compared to the Z Studio G4. It's it's significantly more sleek. That one still kind of has that old style, you know, just kind of has that dated look. It's, it's, it's trying to look sleek and new, but it still looks like it's from 2010 or something like that. So uh, this, this kind of stepped it up a notch. It has a total modern look modern new HP logo and overall if anyone's kind of not really too your primary goal is not gaming I think this really is a good choice and the dream color display it's it's not a cheap upgrade I picked this up on the outlet actually but um overall this the total price the price tag on this computer can really really add up based on what you add on it so in some ways I would maybe take a look on eBay at on the HP outlet or some other third-party retailers selling pre-configured systems because if you go to HP, you, you're you probably going to leave with a hefty price tag. But on the other hand, that's also not a bad thing because there are a lot of configuration options. With a computer this expensive, you probably want warranty for three years and maybe even accidental. Um, yeah, I guess those are just my initial thoughts. Like I said, I pretty much had this laptop for one day, but I, it's exceeded all expectations. Like I said, we have another Studio G4 in the office and I really feel like it, it, this this one is considerably, especially more sleek. Maybe performance wise, it's the the previous model is still pretty decent. Obviously, it does not have the six core processor, but this one is just it's so much more sleek. And also, the screen borders are smaller, so the screen size is larger per the side or per the laptop body. So yeah, if you're looking for one hell of a thin, not not light, thin, but it's still light enough. Thin but light laptop, not light laptop, with some serious horsepower. I, I really don't think you could go wrong. And I just want to point out that it does have two fans. There is one bent on each side, which means for, even though this computer is this thin, I do not expect any cooling issues whatsoever. This is why this is limited in GPU size, so the P1000 is currently the highest option, but this computer is so thin, I really don't think they could cool it any better, but the fact that it has two fans means that the six core CPU should stay work 100% without any issues and without you know excessive heat to your laptop or noise. And I think that's key. It's, it seems like it's a very well balanced design.